Welcome to Newborn Nursery Reborn. I'm Elena. I am sitting here with Miss Poozy, who is, this is Oriana, and this is Ariana. So we got Oriana, is what I named her, with an O. And then we have Ariana, who is, um, you know, uh, the Rosalie sleeping baby. And, um... We're just sitting here and I'm thinking about how many babies I want to actually have in my collection because do I want to be a big doll collector or do I want just a few babies? Honestly, here's my opinion and my view about a doll collector. It depends on why you're collecting your dolls. If you're collecting your dolls just to have them like on shelves or whatever you can have as many babies as you want but if you're that reborn doll mom that wants to physically touch and hold your babies constantly and change them like me on a daily basis i feel like a reborn doll collector that's like that should limit to to have a limit of how many dolls they should have i'm not saying you should do that i'm saying as far as i go um because I want to be able to change and love and be able to give each and every one of my dolls some type of attention and love that they need, that they desire, that I have this desire inside of me and I want to share it with my babies. I always want to hold my reborn babies. I always want to change them, put them in the next outfit and do a video. That's the type of reborn doll mom I am. But I'm also a reborn doll artist, so coming across all these babies, sometimes it's hard because I fall in love with the babies as I'm reborning, and then I'm like, okay, well, this baby has to go up for sale because I have to make some money. Like, this is what I'm doing. So it's, like, really hard as a reborn doll artist not to fall in love with the baby. So it's like, but I'm not downing anybody. If you have a huge collection and that's just who you are, do your thing, girl, because... I'm not going to knock anybody for what they're doing. If you want 500 babies, hey, that's your thing. Do you? I have a doll collector who buys tons of reborns from me. And she's on her 12th baby with me. Um, and she purchased 10 other babies, obviously. She's on her 12th baby with me. She's doing twins now with me. And she's doing a partial silicone. So I just wanted to say that. You know, I honestly think if you're that doll collector and you want hundreds and hundreds of dolls and that's what you have and it makes you happy, do what makes you happy. But me, as much as I like to dress and change my babies, I think that it limits me with how many I should have. So I'm going to try not to go past 10. And if I do, I'm going to have to get one of my babies and sell them. We're not going to go past 10 dolls here in this nursery because then things are going to get out of hand and I'm going to be spending hundreds and thousands of dollars more. And this is what I'm doing, trying to make money and help me out a little bit with my business instead of spending all the money and putting it right back. No, I can't do that. So I have to limit myself because I'm on a budget right now. And some of us have to live on budgets and some of us do and some of us don't. But I do... Because I have so many responsibilities. So I have to really be careful with everything that I do as far as, you know, um, budgeting my money and shopping less. So I've noticed in the past month and a half, my shopping skills, like me shopping as much for baby clothes hasn't happened. I was a hoarder shopper. Like, har I wouldn't say hoarder, but... I'm a horrible at spending money on baby stuff and I don't want to do that no more. So I've decided to change my bad habits a little bit, start saving money so I can buy myself a car and um, save up for the bigger things that I'm going to need in life to get me by. So, you know, that's why I made this video and I just wanted to share my thoughts. And what do you guys think about that? Do you think that people should limit their collection or do you feel like whatever makes them happy just makes them happy because that's how i feel i feel like 
If you're happy with as many reborn babies as you have, then do your thing, girlfriend. But as far as I go in this nursery goes, we're not going to go past 10 collect collecting babies. We're not going to go past 10 reborns. And if I do, it's going to have to be a really special occasion or a limited edition or something like that, like Poozie and Jack, because Poozie and Jack are very rare finds. Let me just say that in case um, you reborn doll moms don't know out here. These are sold out editions. They were limited editions. She only made 20 Poozies and like 40 Jacks or something like that. Something like that. But they're twin babies. And you would think she would make them equal numbers. No, she didn't. So these babies are sold out babies. They're really, really hard to find. Poozie and Jack are stunningly beautiful reborns. And they're just really hard to find. So... If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you already know. If you're a doll collector and you know Nikki Johnston's Poozie and Jack are really hard to find babies, you know the struggle. So, because she's a rare find, Oriana, Oriani is her name. She has a little name bracelet on now. Um, we got her name on this bracelet. This was a custom bracelet that we got made with her little name it says oriani o-r-i-a-n-i -I, I don't know if you guys can see that but that's exactly what that says um and then i'm gonna have another one made for her she's gonna be ariana and um we're gonna have ronan baby paris is coming and um She's coming July 1st, but I'm not going to have time to reborn her right now because I'm still doing the giveaway, baby. I'm working on her detail a little bit before I get her assembled and ready to be drawn to the winner of the reborn baby giveaway. So make sure you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, all you have to do to enter our contest is subscribe to my YouTube comment on this video i want to win a free reborn or any any video you want i want to win a free reborn so that you can be entered in our contest for our free reborn doll giveaway if you live out of the united states and you enter our free reborn giveaway that's okay you just will have to pay for shipping that's the only thing i can do everything for free if you win the reborn you live in the united states but if you live out of the States, shipping is quite pricey, so you might have to pay for it. Australia is not bad. UK is not bad. Those prices are fine. But if you live like far in like Spain or Italy or, you know, uh, you know, further out Africa and places like that, it's really hard for shipping. Those shipping costs are very high. They're like a hundred and something dollars to get shipped. I already investigated it, went and asked about that, and they said it costs one from 120 to 150 dollars to ship to africa chile santo domingo spain europe anything like that so yeah that's how much that cost um but anyways if you guys have any questions for me you can ask away also i would like to thank tamara summers for being a special special um supporter to newborn nursery reborn I've noticed that Tamara Summers gives us a lot of love and I actually have a nice gift for Tamara Summers, but I need to speak to her directly. So Tamara, if you're watching this video and you see this video, contact me on Instagram or Facebook, girl, because I have some good news for you. Um, I have something for you that you're going to really want. So make sure you give me a ring um, and I'll talk to you about that soon. Also, um... I just wanted to thank everybody who supports our channel, you know, and is really supportive of us because I'll tell you guys a quick little story just so you know a little bit of my past. Before I started reborning in October of this year, I did reborns a long, long time ago in 2010, and I closed down my reborn business when I had opened for like a year and a half or whatever, and this was many years ago. Um, you know, in 2010, that's 14 years ago, I stopped for seven years um, because I lost my sister tragically in 2016 and it broke me down completely. 
to the point where I mentally lost all spirit, all love, all everything, wanting to do things. And it took me a long time to rebuild my strength back up to where I'm at. And I could not be more thankful to the Lord above giving me the strength and myself for putting myself back together. It was a really hard and tough journey for me. Uh, I lost my mom, my dad, and then I lost my sister, which was really, really hard for me. Um, and they all lost their lives tragically. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching, being so supportive to Newborn Nursery Reborn, where reborns are everything to our nursery and also silicone babies. I have another video that I will be posting about a silicone partial that I want reborn doll artists to be aware of. Um, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and enter our reborn giveaway. You don't know, you could be our next free reborn doll giveaway. Thanks for watching.